Thank fantastic. you, Liz. Isn't it we'll amazing? see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs>
uh, uh, with because you, it's so hard. It's like agates. It's so hard that the only way you can uh, work it is work it with something that's harder than it, than it is. And in that case, it is, in this case, it's diamond. Yeah. So everything has to be all diamond tooling. And when you polish it, you have to polish it with something that's harder than it is also. So we actually polish it with diamond dust and with black sapphire. Yeah, it has a beautiful sheen to it. And yeah, look at this. That's and a natural sparkle. A little, little checkerboard it. fastening on right. some of those big chunky stones. Those are huge stones, by the way. Those are going to be 23 millimeter square, 35 millimeter square in the center stone. Incredible lapidary work. The geometry is fabulous. But uh, we'll keep you shopping and keep you craving more from J. King. Coming up, this is going to be one of my picks of the hour for you. Two of the hottest colors in fashion are turquoise. They're calling it mellow yellow, the fashionistas. And let me tell you, this is a striking color combination. It's the butterscotch amber turquoise 20-inch necklace. Look at our summer price, $94.90. The amount and the color and the selection of amber here is out of this world. Well, so beautiful. And this incorporates butterscotch amber. This comes from uh, Lithuania. From the, uh, They actually don't mine it, they dive for it. Uh, I brought some, less than 5%, if everybody thinks about this, this is natural butterscotch amber. Mm -hmm. Less than 5% of the total amber that I buy in any course of any year, and, and we buy up to, uh, well, uh, uh, so far, uh, last year, in the last six months, we bought about 50,000 pounds. So we we do go through a considerable amount of amber rough. Uh, I will say that amber is overall is extremely rare. But mm -hmm. to, to find it in this color, it's this is so pretty. less than 5% of the total amber uh, material that we purchase in any given year is this color. And this will go very quickly. We also have matching earrings for you. You consider adding on the matching earrings. Also delightful, by the way. <laughs> these are fabulous. I want to say nearly three inches in length. I might call these shoulder dusters. They're so long and fabulous. Alternating amber chips with the beautiful, gorgeous, natural turquoise. This is one of the few organic gemstones on the planet each and every single piece of amber is like it's like a time capsule it's just a beautiful prehistoric glorious fossilized tree resin that will captivate your heart and we also have a matching bracelet for you it's going to be a double strand it's on that gorgeous stretch flex wire so one size fits most here you'll have a double strand available for you in the bracelet that's only 57.90 so everything at summer sale pricing today we have to have some extraordinary clearance prices we also have, hey, five flex pay on all Jay King today. How do you feel about that, Jay? Well, you know, um, uh, I'll tell you a funny story about flex pay. Um, I'm kind of like an old codger, redneck rock hound type, you know? So, <laughs> uh, you know, even though I've known about this and flex pay and it's really well, you great. Clean up good, Jay. But I, but I gotta tell you, you know, um, uh, my wife, uh, and you have to know my I, uh, my wife is British, okay, and everybody just loves her. But she's she's so funny. We we were at dinner the uh, the other night, and um, we took a, a good friend out to dinner, and we were there, and uh, she was talking. She was wearing this beautiful necklace, and it's one of the designs I had done. And I, I I said, you know, I didn't give that to her, you know, like because uh, uh, the guest, was, our friend, was comp complimenting her on it, and she said, and she says, what, what do you mean he didn't give it to you? He says, no. He, I can, he always sells out, so I just bought it on there. So she actually <laughs> bought it. And so the reason I'm telling you this story is I was, uh, um, she pays all the bills pretty much because I travel all the time. And, and I was going through and I was noticing all of a sudden on the credit card it says HSN, 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 HSN. But it was like, you know, $12, uh, you know, $16 sure. and all that. And so I went to my wife and I said, what's this? And she says, it's flex pay. And I went, oh. And, but, you know, I added it all up. And, and then I thought, you know, that is so cool. I mean, you know, what a great way to, to make you know, Isn't and she fabulous? had bought, yeah, she had bought, I mean, but she had bought a lot of different things, <laughs> Apparently. but it really, you know, but it uh, just, it made it very affordable, you know, so <laughs> it was, it was really kind of Even cool. J. King's own wife uses FlexPay. <laughs> That's how popular it is here at HSN. Uh, at the employees, we use FlexPay. It's a great way to finance your order. Also, if you do see a set and you want to make sure you get in on all the matching pieces before they're gone, it's another great way to take advantage. We have a fabulous Tiger's Eye set for you. This is all brand new. We have the stretch bracelet for $39.90. One size fits most there in the bracelet. We also have a darling pair of earrings. Those will be your go-to summer earrings. They're just so pretty. And those are going to be about 
about almost two inches in length, the earrings. They look just gorgeous and stunning on Kate. Let's talk about Tiger's Eye. We don't see enough of this gemstone. Well, you know, the, the reason we, we did this um, actually is because viewer request. We had, we had done the same uh, Tiger's Eye and we have done some really fabulous necklaces. And we had a lot of requests from people who said that, um, look, we, you know, I got the necklace, but you didn't make earrings, you didn't make a bracelet. So do you think that you could, you know, uh, do something? So that's why we did both of these. We did this to, the, for a lot of people already have Tiger's Eye in their collection. The, the beauty about Tiger's Eye is um, it's Mother Nature's, it's what they call chatoyant, mm -hmm. which is the cat's eye effect, it's the crystalline. Um, so we fastened this, so we've done our own bling to it, but Mother Nature had already been there and she's already provided the bling, right? Isn't it gorgeous? So it's got the chatoyancy in it, and that's mm -hmm. what the natural sparkle of this material. Uh, they call it the uh, cat's eye effect or chatoyancy, which is uh, little crystals that grow throughout um, right. the rough material. In this case, what those crystals are asbestos crystals. And um, everybody goes, oh, asbestos. Well, you know, when, when Mother Nature incorporates it into her works, it's not dangerous. It's only when you take it out and make it right. the fibers that it becomes an issue. So you don't have to worry about it. But that's, that's uh, just so everybody knows, that's what makes Tiger's eye, uh, sparkle and sheen, the natural chatoyancy of it. Um, you Which know, makes the, it perfect for earrings. Well, you know, and the, the funny story about, and I've, t I've told this story on air, when I first started, and I started over 40 years ago, uh, at one time, if you would have come in my shop about 30 years ago, 35 years ago, you would have walked into my cutting shop and you would have seen us cutting up all kinds of stuff. Elephants, um, uh, bookends, uh, ashtrays, Buddhas. Because <laughs> we used to go to, to Namibia, we'd go to South mm -hmm. Africa, and at one time they wouldn't allow you to export the rough material anymore. So what you had to do is you had to export it in a finished product. So we would get the biggest, gaudiest thing that we could buy, right, just to have the material so we could cut cabochons and whatever. So we would bring it in and then cut it up uh, to do it. Now, also with Tiger's Eye, it's not like you just cut not it up pretty. like bread. You have to, uh, because it is chatoyant, mm -hmm. it comes in layers. So you really have to be a skilled lapidarist and you have to do almost like when you cut precious opal, you have to chase the fire on fire in it so that you still retain that uh, chatoyancy and have that so get, the, get yeah. the biggest uh, amount of bling out of it that you possibly can. You have these can. golden to red brown colors and it has that natural silky luster so it it looks like it's glowing. It looks like a stone that's lit from within and that's why I love it in the earrings. By the way on the earrings you're going to get a length of nearly two inches with a big 15 by 10 millimeter cylindrical bead and then it's paired with the two eight by five rondelles. It's all solid sterling silver by the way. Everything is 925 sterling silver that J. King works with. Those are those nice, beautiful French wire backs. They're just going to slip and slide right through your piercing. Those are brand new. The bracelet is brand new. Uh, a great, fun, casual, cool, chunky piece for summer. Goes with everything. Goes with your denim. Goes with those cute little floral dresses and the bohemian styles. And Tiger's Eye is full of power and courage and strength and balance, so they say. So it's not a, not a bad stone to wear. Let's also give you a look at the J. King turquoise and black obsidian 18 inch necklace. This is my first pick of the hour for you. It is brand new. You are the first to see it. I think you're going to fall head over heels in love with this piece, honestly. It is so beautiful. It is chunky. And the contrast of the black obsidian with this gorgeous turquoise nuggets. I mean, these, these are really big nuggets. 14 by 14, 8 by 8, and then the black obsidian and beads that range from four to six to ten millimeters go all the way around. All of Jay King's designs are handcrafted. Uh, the stones are hand selected, Jay. They're hand polished. They're hand cut. It's beautifully hand strung. I mean, you get a really phenomenal piece today. Well, and this is brand new, like Sarah says, and this is a very special uh, combination. This is a, um, a turquoise material. It's called Seven Peaks. Um, I actually got to name this particular turquoise because, uh, uh, and I named it, I, you know, like we, we always ask the miners when we find uh, new turquoise or new deposits, we always ask them, well, you know, what, 
what do you call it? What's the name? And um, in this case, they really didn't have a name for it. So I looked around, and if you look at where this deposits, it, there's actually seven different mountain peaks that are, and this is the, uh, the deposit. The actual mine is kind of like in the middle of this little valley, and it's surrounded by these predominant, there's actually seven peaks. And so that's why we call it Seven Peaks Turquoise. As far as I know, I don't know anybody else that is, has mm -hmm. this rough. We don't have an exclusive on the mine, but I've never seen anybody else there. And what we do is um, uh, we have somebody that goes every four to six weeks and they go through and we only take the top grades. There's an awful lot of turquoise there. And the last time I was up there, there was still a That's lot of that color. turquoise that we didn't pick that was still mm -hmm. sitting there. So I really don't, I don't really know what their marketing uh, system is, but I will tell you, this is the best of the best that comes out of it. Very beautiful geometric designs. If you look at this, large, and these are solid pieces. Yeah, these look at these. Yeah, these aren't compressed nuggets or anything, okay? These are actually large, big nuggets that come out of this. And then what we do is we uh, do what they call freeform fasting on them. So these are all, this is kind of something new. Um, I can't say that I've ever really uh, done a lot of this before. I've always done them as accents, but this is something we're kind of trying. And then you can't really go wrong with a combination of black and turquoise, right? Mm -hmm. In this case, a beautiful black agate from South Africa. Yeah, think about that. Every every black top you have, every little black dress you have, every black t-shirt you have, every black jacket or black pair of shoes, I mean, now you've got something to really amplify that look. And you've got this beautiful blue. I can't take my eyes off that turquoise. There's something that, that is so pretty about that color. And that's what we want in our turquoise. Well, you know, we and, look yeah, first for color. Well, and the thing with... Uh, turquoise right now you know like um, turquoise is here to stay I mean as far as I mean it's our number one go-to material uh, we specialize in turquoise it was kind of my first love I literally travel all over the world uh, to obtain the best turquoise roughs that are out there on the market. And what everybody is going for um, right now, and turquoise is a worldwide phenomenon. I travel to countries mm -hmm. that, and I've been traveling my entire adult life. I travel to countries now where I'm seeing turquoise where I never, ever even imagined that there would be a market for it there. And now um, people are discovering it, they're bringing it in. And, um, the, the most sought after right now, and I'm not saying it's the most valuable. You, you can, there are a lot of the greens, like the Royston greens and things that you can get uh, that are natural, that are really worth a lot of money. They're very valuable, and, and to tell you the truth, they're fairly rare. Um, but what everybody is really out there in the market for and what's driving the market right now are these really solid blues. Mm -hmm. In this case, you got a beautiful high blue. And the, the big thing, that I can tell you this, this is the natural color, right? So I'm much I'm just gonna turquoise. point that out. Yeah. That's so important. It, it really is important because a most, I wouldn't say most, but a lot of the turquoise that you're seeing out just on the common market that really isn't cut from the rough, that it's, that it's something that people are carrying. I'm not knocking it, but it's not real turquoise in most cases. Um, but if you look at when people actually, when they counterfeit something or they, they have a faux Sure, um, there's a lot of imitations product, out there. Right, what do they imitate? They imitate the, the, <laughs> the blue and the turquoise. Right. Right? Why not they never, have the real thing? Yeah, yeah, they don't, but they, but the, it's usually a lot of, uh, what it is is it's enhanced halides or uh, dolomites or something like that. It is, mm -hmm. So it is stone. And uh, how they kind of get around it is when you ask them what it is, they say turquoise. If you say, and, but I've asked people, I said, what mine's that from? They said, no, no, it's the turquoise color. Right. right. It's not that it's not that they're not saying mm -hmm. that it's it's actually it's just a turquoise color. So if you are a gem collector and a gem connoisseur, I think that's what is so fabulous about having Jay King's expertise. He's a rock hound. He's a certified gem expert. He's here with the most beautiful presentations you've probably ever laid eyes on when it comes to turquoise. No one else has this source. I, I did a little Google last night for Seven Peaks. Uh, no one else has this turquoise. No one else has this gorgeous high blue color. And then to know that each and every Every single stone is really a collector's item. I mean, you have one individual huge chunk of turquoise here that has not been reconstituted. It has not been dyed or enhanced for color. You get the real thing. And if that's important to you, if you love wearing real gemstones, if you love the feel of them against your neckline, and by the way, those are not fake or faux black stones either. Those are also genuine black obsidian. So it gives you that beautiful cooling and crystallizing effect and that wonderful sheen that you get from that volcanic glass. It's a beautiful contrast.
contrast to the big chunky stones that you're getting from the Seven Peaks Turquoise. Uh, two great birthstones here, Turquoise. Uh, if you're a December baby, you've got your birthstone here. Obsidian, uh, that's supposed to be the birthstone for Scorpions and Sagittarius. So, <laughs> you know, if you're if you're into all that cool gemstone stuff, it's fun to just find what speaks to you, or maybe you'll find yourself drawn to certain stones during certain times of your life. I just think that's beautiful. It does come with the extender on the back in solid sterling silver. So all precious gems, all solid sterling silver. Something else that's happening here at HSN is a beautiful look at the multi gemstone bead necklace. This really does represent every single color of the rainbow. It does come with that adjusted clasp as well. So you have anywhere between 18 and oh about 21, 22 inches. And then a graduated design of all all these rondell beads i'm not even going to begin to guess what you put in this necklace jay but <laughs> give us just a hint just a tease well, you, you've got like there's about six different countries here and at <laughs> least uh, uh i think there's like seven or eight different materials um this is just old school brings back a lot of memories this really um this right. design is w one of the first designs i actually ever just did nice. right as far as the look oh. right uh -huh. um this is kind of what started it all for me and what's i've been doing this for over 40 years and it's still popular so that must say something for that right it's simple it's a great way so pretty um, you it'll know, go with everything in your we wardrobe we kind of created this or you know or, you know the reason i did this is kind of a replacement since we don't have rainbow calcilica anymore it still kind of gives you that effect where you've got a multitude of colors this these are all natural materials so it goes with just almost anything okay you can uh it's anything you're going to wear or impressive. accessorize it's really a classic look that that crosses all the color barriers all the different uh, things that you would want. It's got pastels, it's got mm -hmm. bright colors. It's something that, that you great. can wear. Um, you, just not mm -hmm. gonna, you know, the one thing is, is when I do design. Just a sneak peek. Is I like to, uh, to make things that aren't just gonna sit in your jewelry box. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna be reaching for that. So just a sneak peek, you can start shopping that early. Just want everyone to know, everything we show you today is something brand new that you haven't seen this weekend. And we've got some incredible, uh, I would say show-stopping designs like this one, the turquoise and the amethyst drop necklace coming up next. We have a clearance price for you that's going to be the lowest price we've ever offered. So our regular price is $199. Today we took $70 off for one of the most beautiful color combinations that you will find in the world of gemstones. Always one of my favorites when I see amethyst and turquoise together. And it's not just a little bit of amethyst. It's not one strand. It's not one bead. It's three strands of amethyst, all free form nuggets, seven to nine millimeters in size, solid sterling clasp with the extender. And then you get this beautiful Andean blue turquoise key shape drop here with the round and the oval turquoise stones. Uh, it's so gorgeous. This is from your gallery collection, right? Right, this is a gallery collection. I designed this because um, it's kind of, um, you, know, you know, the two silhouettes that are really, uh, uh, always in almost every designer's line that you do. The two hottest silhouettes um, that are predominantly in anybody that I know that designs. Um, you know, you're gonna have crosses mm -hmm. and you're gonna have hearts. Yeah. Those are the two things. So when you think about, um, when you've done this as long as I've done it, over 40 years, to come up with something new in a cross, you know, to kind of have something that's kind of different, um, is really a challenge. And I, I'm really proud of this design. Uh, it is part of our gallery uh, a collection, which means there are limited editions. Uh, in this case, I've gone with kind of a contemporary sterling silver mm -hmm. cross. I put, you notice the bottom where it yeah, moves. The bottom's hinged. Right? So you have movement right? Mm -hmm. And then you've got that beautiful uh, amethyst center stone. That's, that's your uh, focal point. And then I've used this beautiful clear blue Andean turquoise. And this, this material really truly rivals Sleeping Beauty. There's a piece of the rough. I don't sure. know if you want to show yeah, it. Yeah, I'd love to see that. If you, if you see, look at the clarity of this. And this is, that's Isn't the material. That, All I've done, ooh, that's, gorgeous. that's how it comes out of the ground. Okay. Mm -hmm. All I've done is cleaned up the nugget. I've cut it in half and then I polished it. But you can see uh, the bright, clear, clear, clear blue, and that's what you're, uh, everybody's really competing for right now, and that's what everybody's going after, is that real high, clear blue right. in cabochons. And uh, Sleeping Beauty is, is something that, I mean, 
we used to have on air for hours and hours <laughs> and hours on end. And it was probably one of the most beautiful sources of turquoise and one of the most sought after in the world. But unfortunately, that's the mine that has closed and that material is very, very hard to come by. And so I love, Jay King, that you've found uh, so many other incredible and also stunning sources for well, you know, our it, turquoise. It's funny that you're, um, you know, that you mentioned that because, you know, Sleeping Beauty um, did set the mark, right, mm -hmm. um, for years and years and years. Um, when Sleeping Beauty, when they, uh, Monty finally closed, Monty Nichols, who owned the mine, when they finally closed it, um, all of a sudden you had families, you know, second and third generation families, that they had de developed their their lifestyle and their livelihood on just one turquoise, if you yeah. think about that. So um, this, I will tell you, have, having done Sleeping Beauty um, my entire professional career, um, that I would say, honestly, this, this turquoise um, is on the same, probably the same parity as far as color consistency and clarity as the Sleeping Beauty. And, and, this, and it's matched so beautifully it matches in, the, back, in the key drop design. Right. Well, every one of those... Every one of those cabochons in this particular design was hand selected by Mawa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the reason I say that is because we cut this um, particular load. I cut it for yield because uh, I wanted to keep, that's why you're seeing this incredible price on it. Uh, I wanted to keep the price point done, down on it. So what I did is I cut for yield. So when you cut for yield, uh, you, you utilize the turquoise rough in a better manner, mm -hmm. right? And so yeah. what I did is, you, so you cut it all, you cut everything, and then you go through and see, okay, how many I have? of this how many I have of that and so literally for these crosses every one of them after the lapidaris right. had cut these I went through and I did it's not just this design mm -hmm. I did a bunch of designs you're going to see a bunch of designs coming up and it's I actually meticulously stuff. lined them all out and I, and I designated okay these are for this this is for this and this is for this so um, it's kind well, of that's fun how now, we can share all these incredible right but offers with all of you just so everybody knows this is part of the gallery collection there's not thousands of these no I'm okay. just going to give everyone a quick yeah, update there's a few uh, hundreds, fewer than a few about a hundred or right. so to go around. Uh, by the way, the drop on that necklace is an additional uh, nearly three inches, two and three quarters inch in length. The rows of amethyst on their own, they got three gorgeous strands. That's 18 inches, plus you get the extender, that's nearly three inches. And it's all solid sterling silver. I mean, look at the amount of silver in the key drop cross. Look at the amount of silver that's in the clasp. And then look at all the amethyst. I mean, that is an incredible find for $129.90. We have $70 off today, lowest price ever. So lots of surprises if you're just waking up on a Monday. And maybe, speaking of amethyst, you wanna treat yourself to a gorgeous ring, which by the way, is a customer pick. It's getting rave reviews, Jay. Everybody is loving this ring, and it's a delight. At $64.90, you could own a all-precious metal, solid sterling silver ring with one beautiful center stone. It's a gorgeous amethyst. The size of the amethyst, uh, not to be denied, we're talking about a nine millimeter amethyst. We do have sizes five through size 12 here. It's a natural opaque amethyst, right, from Zambia? This comes from Zambia, which um, now this particular mine in Africa is probably producing, wow. if you, cool. if you kind of get online and you research what's going on in the amethyst market, the um, probably some of the finest amethyst in the entire world right now is being mined in Africa. What I love about this is the contemporary shank design. Do you see mm -hmm. this? Little okay, Euro shank. It, okay, but look how it's squared off. Mm -hmm. So it's round, but it's squared off. Uh, I just love that. Yeah. It's a great look, very, very contemporary. Split um, shank um, on this the is, sides. Yeah, this is by um, one of our artists. Every, every, just so everybody understands, we do all of the stone cutting, we do all the silver work. Um, we, uh, we work from scratch, from the natural rough. That's how we do it. We don't buy things that are already pre-cut or pre-finished. Mm -hmm. uh, all the sterling silver work, we also design everything in-house. So this is one of our very contemporary designs, very unique look, uh, and like Sarah was saying, extremely, extremely popular. That's the difference, that right there, okay, see that? That's all Afri uh, uh, Brazilian amethyst or from Uruguay. See the large crystals? Yeah, huge see the big, big crystals? And they, well, and they come in and that's where they, they break those up and that's where they, they get the amethyst from. Um, uh, that's a geode with the, with the amethyst inside. Now, the difference between um, 
those formations, which you see in uh, Brazil and you see in Uruguay, and the formation that this material was cut from, these, uh, the Zambian material is, are more crystals, uh, smaller crystals. So you don't see a lot of big things, you don't see a lot of big crystals, but they keep their clarity and they keep their uh, their color better than the larger the larger crystals. I know it sounds uh, kind of crazy, but the thing is, the bigger the crystal, like the, the Brazilian material and the Uruguayan material, the problem is that when it's in a big crystal, it really looks nice. The color mm -hmm. is a deep, deep purple. But when you go to cut it and you yeah. start to work it, You're gonna love this then that's when um, it, it's not, it's a lot lighter or it doesn't hold mm -hmm. its, its uh, color, right? Sure. And also, it's harder to tell the clarity on a, on a bigger crystal than it is on the smaller think, crystal. You can loop them. Yeah, I think it'll be so fun when you get this home. You can actually, when I look down at my hand, I can see the light shining in from every angle of the stone. And so you do see these beautiful shades of lilac, lavender, all the way to the deep purple. So you can see that to the very bottom of the stone, which is fabulous, but it also has that very rich glow glorious deep purple shade, so it's very royal, and a very unusual cut of an amethyst. Usually they're faceted, or usually they're cabochon. This is almost like a tabletop, or sort of like a, a mesa, if you will. Well, and here again, it's, and that's that's our art, okay? Mm -hmm. So not is it, not only is this just a really unusual, high-polished, um, you know, a sterling silver custom-made setting, but even the cut on the amethyst is a custom cut, right? So uh, like Sarah's pointing out, it's, um, it's not your normal faceted, just standard facet cut. This, it is as unique cool as look. the sterling silver and set. And by the way, very, very comfortable. So don't let that modern shake sort of scare you away. It's actually designed to be one of the most comfortable bands in the, in the jewelry industry. It's flat on the bottom, so when you do have your hands on a flat surface, or whether it's your keyboard, or whether you're typing or working at a desk that actually feels very smooth. And then the sides are tapered, so you can still close your fingers. Nothing interferes with all of your movements. This is all high polished. It comes to a beautiful presentation here. So it really is just showcasing that center stone. I love how it's unadorned. There's no bezel that or extra stones around that amethyst. Just the amethyst gets to be the star. And you know, in this the ring. designer actually had that in mind. And when it's very sleek, uh, and it the main thing is that the the cut and the and the stone, the amethyst actually blends into the overall design. So not only is the sterling silver setting very contemporary, but also the cut. If you can see, they all kind of blend together in a very contemporary theme. That's a, a great shot there. You can really see that beautiful sort of smooth, graceful curves, and then it has this towering presence of the amethyst. It's a really captivating ring. I can't wait for you to get this on your finger and for you to look down at your hand and go, wait a minute, I got, I got a, a wearable work of art. I got a custom made ring from J. King for less than $65. Uh, do order true to size. I suppose this is a ring and a shank that you would not want to size. No, no, you don't. This one, because um, of the split shank and the The, the only reason you want to go design. up the size on our designs is if the shank is really wide. And even though they're made true to size because of the width of the shank, mm -hmm. it's always advisable to go up one size. On this one, I would order true to size. See that Another great polish? thing too is so if, you, if you need half sizes, you can always take this because of how they're manufactured. You can take it to any jeweler and they can always pop it up a half size. Mm -hmm. it, it's not a problem for them to do okay. that. Uh, maybe even a full size on this. Uh, it depends on, on the uh, equipment yeah. that they have. And by the way, it does not flip or spin on the finger. You would think, oh gosh, I have this big stone. It's going to flip. It's going to turn. What I like is you can lay your finger flat. Yeah. And it, it almost, it's almost like a pedestal, right? It's yeah. a, almost braces your, your feel hand. like a queen for a date. <laughs> just, just look down at your ring every once in a while. Look at that. Everyone's going to be asking you, where did you get the ring? Because there's nothing like it in the world. Jay King is exclusive to us here at HSN. We're going to take a quick break. We've got so much more coming up, including that amber and turquoise necklace. We've got big lapis and more. Don't go away. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Computers, printers, cameras, fitness equipment, and even jewelry can be covered with a plan that offers repair or replacement should a failure occur. And portable electronics have accidental damage from handling, which covers unintentional mishaps like everyday drops, spills, and cracked screens. It's easy to add when you are checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. 
I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. Discover the newest way to create a style all your own. The HSN Style Edit. A curated look at the season's best, most original finds for every part of your life. We decode the trends, share tips and how-tos, and give you the inspiration you need to style it your way. It's the joy of the hunt and the thrill of the find. Your unique style is here. Discover it now exclusively at hsn.com. It's Project Central around here. With just a little imagination, some of this, a bit of that, the possibilities are endless. Whether you're just getting started or you know your way around a glue gun, we have the supplies and ideas to help get it done. Say Y-E-S to DIY at HSN. in your day with one of the most beautiful, sunny, rare, yellow amber sources in the world. This is the Butterscotch Amber Turquoise 20 inch necklace. We're here with Mind Finds with Jay King, renowned gemstone expert, rock hound. I like to call him the Indiana Jones of gemstones. He goes into the caves, so we don't have to. We just got back from the jungle in the Yucatan <laughs> Peninsula of Mexico, so we're not kidding when Jay King really says he goes to the ends of the earth to bring you the very best. And this amber, is from okay this is from the lithuania but lithuania. it's from the baltic sea and they don't mine it they dive for it okay now okay whoa <laughs> <laughs> because amber is is an organic gemstone but it's not a coral it's okay it's not a coral tree resin but right? they dive for it believe it or not and how they harvest this is this um uh, you know it's at the bottom of the baltic uh, sea, right? And it's not, uh, the sea is not comprised of amber, a whole sea of amber right. on the floor, but there are pockets um, of amber and amber is lighter than, than uh, water, you know, e so, uh, especially salt water. So our source on this, okay, uh, what they do so is great. they, uh, you know, they used to be that they were, the, they're having to dive deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper to be able to to get the amber, but the divers actually go down. The, the further, the deeper they go, the less bottom time they have. The, you know, because they're they're sure. not yeah they're not diving with using more air down there. Yeah, they're not diving with nitrox and you know the technical dive gear. They're diving with uh, old you know um, not antiquated, but they're diving with older equipment. Um, so they don't have a lot of bottom time. So that uh, we're seeing less and less amber from this source. Uh, it's a source I've, I've been using for over 20 years. Um, less than 5% of what they get is this butterscotch uh, color. Now, the, the cool thing is, is I've got another uh, deposit that we're working in a swamp in, your, in the Ukraine. But interesting enough, there is zero butterscotch amber. I don't, but, I don't but know what's worse, diving it, to the bottom of the Baltic Sea or, or diving in a swamp. Well, the swamp, they don't dive in the swamp, the swamp. But that's what, that's what the rough material okay. looks like. This that's when so it comes pretty. out. I'll hold it up to my necklace so you okay. can see. What, what really, though, it makes makes this whole project worthwhile and everything too, is yeah, okay. Gorgeous. You've got the beautiful butterscotch amber. So you have something here that is so unique and so rare and so valuable. This is what, um, like I said, less than five percent of the total amber that we get um, in any given year is this color. And uh, not that I want to sound like I'm one-sided or anything, but this is my favorite amber, okay? <laughs> it's my favorite You're color. You're allowed to have an opinion. No, but it is my opinion, okay? <laughs> I have to tell you, all the stuff that I custom make for my wife or that I... Um, that, that she has are pieces, you know, that, that are collector's pieces of butterscotch amber. She has some beautiful contemporary butterscotch mm -hmm. amber jewelry that we've, I've created for well, her over think, the years. Yeah. And then here's what's special about this. See the turquoise in this? 
Yeah. Okay, this is old Hubei turquoise. So it's it's um, what I call antique. And here's some examples of Hubei turquoise. This is what, it, now this is some of the older stuff. This is um, uh, things that I hand selected. Most of this, well, not most of it, all of the turquoise in this particular uh, design uh, was probably mined in the, between the late 70s and early 80s. And it was all part, the only reason that you can't even get that rough material, this turquoise, this particular turquoise, you can't even buy it anymore. Um, we got this And those are a, real turquoise nuggets, by are, the way. Those are the whole stone. Old. Not reconstituted. Yeah, no, or, this is what I call antique turquoise. I had a bucket of these old nuggets mm -hmm. uh, left over from a buy that we did. And how we acquired this material is I had a friend that went around uh, to the Hubei so mining region, and he did a two-year project. And all of this was acquired from the widows of miners, uh, retired miners, families where the you know the miners had passed away, and they they just had you know they had turquoise still um, uh, uh, stone cutters that. Uh, uh, you know, that are, you know, retired and sure. no longer Those working, but they had turquoise. But you can't, it, it, this isn't something that you can, that's a fresh mine, okay, where they're actually mining it now. This was all mined in the 70s and mined in the 80s. And then I just thought that that was such a cool thing to combine it with a very special uh, butterscotch amber, which, again, is, is the fabulous combination. most limited. I just love butterscotch amber i love the feel of it and this is just an incredible deal an incredible price and one of the few times that you'll ever see a necklace like this with the materials that are in it for below a hundred dollars i was which just gonna say really an really a value. screaming screaming deal and it's brand new brand speaking brand new. new you are now, the first to see it here at hsn right. and i think what I was gonna say earlier is that what I think is so beautiful and attractive about this necklace, I, I realized what is it about this that makes it so special? Of course, it's the rare amber, but it's also a yellow gemstone. We don't have very many yellow gemstones, natural, Jay. Yellow. That are natural. Yeah, we have that citrine, natural. which is often treated and enhanced for color, uh, but citrine has, of course, that clear quality. This right, is this is different. There's not very many yellow stones. Well, and this is an organic gemstone. Mm -hmm. So right. you're looking at um, the history of this. You're looking at something, think about this, it's 30 to 50 million years old. Um, and in this case, we saved this. We actually kept it for this show for this time of the day. Um, this isn't something where I have thousands of them, guys, okay? Yeah, uh, it's going quickly. Yeah, you've got hundreds, okay? This is something you just really can't make a lot of. There's just, you just are so limited on the amount of material that you have available to you that is actually available for for something like this and that where you can do a design so you can't really do where you've got uh, you know literally thousands and thousands of them you just don't have uh, the rough material to work with mm -hmm. and then especially with these Hubei nuggets uh, these yeah. are very limited now could I've used other different mines and other different nuggets absolutely and um, but I just wanted to do something I wanted to do it um, basically an antique amber with what I call antique turquoise, right? I mean, something that is oh, no lovely. longer available, mined in the 70s, mm -hmm. early 80s, that's just no longer available. I just thought that would even make it more, more unique. You know, something that, that really, really makes it stand out. Just about a minute left, everybody. It is very popular this morning. It's 20 inches in length. Plus you get that extender. You always have an extender with Jay's King's necklaces. And that's what I think is so fabulous. So no matter what your neckline, no matter if it's a scoop neck, a V-neck, a blazer, a sweater, a turtleneck you always have a great length for every day also throughout the year if you don't own any yellow gemstone jewelry then i think this is the perfect addition to your collection there's something about yellow that makes you smile there's a reason why smiley faces are yellow <laughs> it's a happy color it's a positive color it's the color of the sun it's the color of a smile it's the color of you know a banana in the middle of the jungle i mean there's something that just is so warm and positive about that color yellow and to know that amber has I mean, well, together with the turquoise, I mean, you are wearing two of the most ancient gemstones that have been adorned by man for thousands and thousands of years. I mean, that's so cool, too. It's your antique gemstones, but also the wonderful, rich tradition of wearing amber and turquoise. Uh, go back to ancient times. Well, it's funny you should say that because the history of this, do you realize that turquoise and amber, okay, both at one time were uh, traded as money? Yeah. 
Yeah, so you've got, if you ever, if you ever get a chance to, uh, to go to Europe, okay, and go to the northern part of Europe, <laughs> you know, like you go to Scandinavia, and, uh, or even go to the museums and stuff, I'll tell you one thing you'll see in amber, right? Or even in, uh, uh, like Poland, a lot of the uh, uh, Russian uh, uh, type communities, you'll see these big donuts of amber in different sizes and different colors, right? Okay. And, um, when I first, saw, you know, like uh, started researching this and looking at this, I thought, okay, th this is just adornment, right? It's just like beads, right? But they're massive. I mean, and they're like like the size of a donut or like the size of a that like a, a small heavy. donut, right? <laughs> they're heavy, but they're different colors of amber. They were actually different forms of currency of money. So the the bigger ones in this color were mm -hmm. worth this much. The the ones that were maybe smaller or whatever were worth this much. They were actually a form of curtis currency. They were actually traded as money. Isn't that fascinating? I can tell you though, once you have a chance and the opportunity to own this piece, you will not trade it. You will not trade it for $94 <laughs> and you won't trade it for the, you know, uh, approved price, the appraised price of $170. You will, you will never want to let this go. When you have something like this in your collection that is so rare, that is so unusual, that is so exotic, to know that, I mean, even if you, you went online right now, you couldn't find anything like this if you tried you are wearing really a one-of-a-kind piece it's it's museum quality it really is something that you will cherish and own for many many years to come and that color is just going to light up your life it's going to be that little ray that little halo that glow that happy positive feeling uh, and by the way amber is full of some uh, great properties it's said to balance emotions and clear the mind there's something about amber remember you're you're capturing a moment in time every single amber stone is a moment in time. It's like a little time capsule. It could be, again, millions and millions of years old, but it's going to be yours today. And add that to your order before it's gone. We'll tell you when that sells out. It is brand new. You're seeing it here first on a Monday morning with Mind Finds with Jay King. If you love that color combination, we have some earrings and we also have a bracelet. Now, are these the same stones okay. or slightly similar? Okay, so the butterscotch amber is the is the same. Is the, the okay. sunny yellow. Yeah, okay, the butterscotch amber comes from the same uh, project, from the diving project. The amber in this case, the, the golden amber, is from that same project, it's just a different color, right? Mm -hmm. Like I said, um, there's um, anywhere from, you know, uh, 80 to 90% of the material that comes up is this, like, golden color, cognac color. The butterscotch, like I said, is about 5%. So the amber's the same, the turquoise from a different mine, right? This is, uh, this is Chilean. So pretty. Yeah. You've so, got a double strand bracelet here for right. you. But the they'll, bracelets they'll blend together perfectly. Mm -hmm. And it, it's kind of funny that... Um, and here's the earrings, yeah. nearly three inches in length. So I didn't make fun. it. I didn't make these. Actually, it's a suite. We had another necklace that sold out that we made these for. So, you know, just take advantage. These are on sale, but they will blend perfectly back. Yeah, and I designed, I designed these, uh, kind of I designed these earrings, and it's really kind of funny that you call them dusters. I didn't really think about that. <laughs> so what did you call them? Shoulder you them dusters. Shoulder dusters. Yeah, you know, I'm going to use that because I, I just designed them because I thought they were cool and long, you know. And um, They'll almost hit your shoulder. Yeah, and what I like about them is, <laughs> Three is inches. especially when you when you wear, have a longer hairstyle, right? What's the challenge right, is to wear earrings and actually know that you're right. wearing earrings, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's actually that they're not hidden. And, and that's why I designed these. Long, I love movement. I like the long look like that. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, very linear look, very fresh. And they're lightweight, by the way. Those are super lightweight. We'll keep you updated on all the amber collections. Uh, a beautiful way to jumpstart your Monday morning. And one of J. King's fan favorites is here. It's the 30-inch gemstone station chain necklace. Our price today, $139.90. Already getting such rave reviews, Jay. This has become a customer pick. And Jay has done something very special. He's created all the highest grade materials for you in each of these stones. And you have a choice of the turquoise, the aquamarine, or the lapis. I think Kate is wearing, it looks like the turquoise. She's wearing I the turquoise. I think she's wearing the uh -huh. turquoise over there, which is that beautiful, vivid, blue-green color. It's all set for you in an Italian chain. You are getting six oval stations, each 10 by 14 millimeters in size. All you do is choose your gemstones. They are double-sided gemstone stations. Another 
another impressive feat when you see these station necklaces, something not everybody does, but uh, you're in good hands with J. King. So once you pick your gemstone, you will have not only a great look, but you will have an adjustable necklace. It's actually going to adjust anywhere between 18 and 30 inches in length. We'll show you how that works in just a moment, but we'll walk you through the gemstone choices because that's really going to be your hardest decision today. I think this is the ultimate layering piece. It's very elegant. It's very refined. Well, one of the things that we tried to do here is we used three of the most sought after uh, of our materials right now. Uh, the, really the nice high clear blue turquoise. Uh, it's a Chilean material. You've got this amazing mm -hmm. aqua. Look at look at the, yeah. that. you can see the rough there. So you, th this is probably some of the highest grade aquamarine I've ever There's had an opportunity here. to work with. And then again, we specialize in high grade lapis. This is all gray, grade A, grade uh, uh, double A, and some of it's even triple A lapis. Um, what I love about this is it, it's so universal. And also, think about this, okay? So you can go from 18 inches to 30 inches, and what makes that possible, um, the only thing that I don't manufacture on this, that I don't make, I don't make the chain. We do buy it from a company in Italy, so it's the highest grade chain, but I'm not in the chain business. Uh, so I get it from a friend of ours who does the chain. Everything else is all hand done by our artists in-house. All the, all the uh, cut from the natural rough. So all the aqua, all the turquoise, and all the lapis, we cut from the natural rough. All the silver work is done in-house as far as um, uh, any of the silver work uh, with the bezels, the bezels. Uh, mm -hmm. in, you know, that encase the, the gemstones. What's cool about them though is they're double-sided. So the lapis and the aqua are both faceted on, on both sides. The turquoise isn't faceted, but if they flip around or if you flip them at all, you, you can't go wrong. There's no bad side, right? So you don't have to worry about one thing setting up or one, mm -hmm. you know, like le maybe leaning. When, uh, if you put it on one way, it's it's going to look just as good as if you and put it on the other way. And let me tell you how unusual that is. I mean, even from some of the finest high-end designers, once that station necklace flips or spins, you don't have the most beautiful, high polished, faceted side of the gemstone showing, you're always fussing with it. Uh, but to know that you have, so it's one stone, right? Right. That just has that beautiful bezel frame. It's, it's cut in and between it's, the, it's the a chains. It's a three dimensional cut. Mm -hmm. So they're not like cut and then glued together. Right. They're right. just one solid piece of rough that's material impressive. that's been faceted on both sides or in the mm -hmm. case of the turquoise, it's smooth on both sides. What I like about it though is just the, uh, adjustability, the uh, user-friendliness of any of this, where you can adjust them up, so you can go up to 18 inches, or you can take it all the way down to 30 inches, amazing. or anything in between, and with that custom finding, it will lock in it's place. A fantastic possibility. By the way, if you were looking for the aquamarine in that trio, uh, we didn't always have the aquamarine in stock, and it's back in stock for you today, so do take advantage. Aquamarine lapis or turquoise. Our next item is our, <laughs> our I, we have to call this like the rock star of the hour. If you want real Really big chunky pieces of genuine turquoise let's do the iron mountain turquoise necklace next it's 18 inches in length does have the extender solid sterling silver clasp but then look at this clearance price seventy nine dollars and ninety cents uh, this is this is worth getting up for in the morning because let me tell you you have large solid trapezoid shaped turquoise stones. If you're a gem collector, this is a customer pick. It's 50% off our regular price. It's our only airing of Jay's entire visit. And this is your last day of the visit, right? No, this is the last day this for is this it. visit. Uh -huh. Okay, pretty pretty impressive, Jay. I love what you did with this. Well, what's amazing on this Size is, stones. number one, just to let everybody know how crazy this is, this price, okay? You, you could not, as a manufacturer, and that's what I am, okay, I actually designed manufacture these things we make them from the ground up we make them from the rough material and this is cut from solid rough okay this isn't um, these aren't compressed nuggets these are actually big pieces of turquoise mm -hmm. to cut these free form um, I wanted to keep this uh, ge geometric geometric when we designed it right that I really went for this um, at the original price on this uh, uh, that we sold it for which is almost double this um, it was a very fair Price. You burn on so much material up uh, doing these types of designs. You have to understand, um, I can't really do anything with the waste product that I have, right? Every time you touch anything with a saw, 
Mm -hmm. You're taking away material. Sure. Anytime I polish anything, I'm taking away material. And a lot of people are under the misconception is, well, oh, well, all the other pieces that you have, you just use them in the design. No. Okay. <laughs> in some cases, yeah, if you've got big Maybe. enough pieces. Yeah, it's but. It's not like a perfect puzzle. It yeah, but it is, you know, like it's that. a lessons learned over mm -hmm. time that, um, that you have to factor that all in to production on what you're doing. So there's a lot of waste when you cut this. I just thought this was a really cool look. I mean, this is and, a slab of turquoise. Right. Look and, how well, thick that is. You know, and, and this is solid turquoise, and that's cut from a solid mm -hmm. piece of turquoise. Okay, that being said, that doesn't, uh, you have to understand, not all turquoise comes in big sizes like right. this, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's like I go down and say, okay, I want that particular size. You know, you uh, when we bring this material in, this comes from the Iron Mountain deposit, too. Uh, just so everybody knows, this I do have an exclusive on. I don't know, there's wow. not, and the reason I know that is, it's not that there's, there is so much turquoise in this deposit that it would probably make the average man's head spin, but they won't let us go in and mine it. We only get to mine it anywhere from two to four times a year, and we're okay. very limited on the time that they allow us in there. You know, literally, Beautifully done. they can go and it just, they can take hand picks and literally pick it out of these big seams, these big veins. Um, it's out of a big iron mine. I love mine. The, ma the matrix in and these, the, too. Okay. It's beautiful, and, the little well, if spider you look webs. At the, if and you look at the matrix though you can see there's some of it that's like a like a rust color mm -hmm. okay that's because it's um uh it's got it's got the iron content in it the black though also um uh is indicative of not only iron but also high aluminum concentrations that that are in this particular rough material so what i like about this and it's so cool it's a big structured piece mm -hmm. but also you got it's a, just a ridiculous deal i mean you couldn't you, you build could not it. you could not find something no, like this i was going to say you, you can't even, build it for this you couldn't go why yeah. that one center stone that nice giant trapezoid there in the center that's over an inch in length and an inch in width. You couldn't find something like that. And, and you're right, and make your own jewelry for $79.90. That's why this is so popular. We only have a few hundred of these to go around. This is uh, our lowest price we have ever offered to know that you're getting something that really fills your neckline that has these wonderful geometric shapes. It's just as beautiful on one side so as it is... And, on the and other. do you notice you can get different looks? You mm -hmm. see, flip that back. Because the matrix look. will be slightly different. Right. Do you see? And this is how you can tell, right? The the thing is, is they're solid, but because um, they're cut out of solid nuggets, out of solid, not really nuggets, solid pieces of turquoise, mm -hmm. that um, that doesn't mean that they're that they're going to be the same all the way through. And that is a characteristic of something that is natural. It's real. If you and cut this on one side gemstones, and you right? flipped it over and it was identical on the other side, I would look be at, suspect. Look at Kate's necklace. It's slightly different. different. They're all be the different. Pattern. They're all really, yeah, one of a kind designs. And that's what I think we love about our gemstones. They have this unique fingerprint. It's a one of a kind. No two necklaces will look exactly alike. The front won't look like the back. You might prefer one side to the other. Uh, but every time you wear it, you will know that you are wearing the only one that was designed just for you. It's the Iron Mountain Turquoise 18 inch necklace. Today, 50% off our regular price. We need to have monthly flex pays that Jace King, uh, Jay King's wife really likes using as well. Those are less than $16 a month. It is adjustable on uh, just about every single J King necklace. You'll see this. So it has this beautiful solid sterling silver end cap. You've got that beautiful hook that's gonna go through any of the points of that sterling silver chain. So you're gonna get anywhere between 18 inches in length up to nearly uh, 22 inches in length. So that gives you a, an additional three inches. Uh, so really fabulous way to get just the perfect look. It'll hit you right where you want it to. It lays flat too. So that's what I also love about these particular slabs of turquoise. Uh, they're cool, they're flat, and it's not gonna flip or spin or. Right. And the, you know, they're engineered actually to be wear friendly and use friend. It's not you know, I, I can't tell you, that, you know, that we probably design, literally, we design more, more designs in a month than probably most manufacturers design in a year. I mean, that's all we do. We constantly design, 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 design. That being said, not all the designs that we do once we make them are really functional as far <laughs> as, um, and, and functional meaning that, um, functional being that the fact that, um, Oh, You're going to wear them for 12 e Yeah, hours ease of use, or in some cases, where I, they look amazing, but to manufacture them in, you know, on any kind of 
um, a basis where I'm making like 100, 200, 300 would be cost prohibitive, mm -hmm. but they're a cool look. So even though, you know, but you want to keep your ideas flowing. So you, you know, sometimes, you know, that, that's how you do it, trial and error. But I will tell you everything that you ever see from us on the air has gone through the test to make sure it's wear friendly, that it's functional, and that it does uh, wear well, and that it's, it, it's easy to use, right? Because there's nothing worse than having something that's beautiful that you have to have a whole team to right. put on. <laughs> or you just look at it on your bureau and you're like, yeah, I or, love that necklace, but I, I just, never yeah, wear I, it. I just don't, I don't wear it because I, you know, it's, it's a hassle to put on. Yeah, just We've a, all done yeah, that. So, um, you know, so just so you know, we do <laughs> keep, keep that in mind and that is part of our thought process. You wear these around the hotel room before you come in just to make sure they <laughs> they fit beautifully. Uh, Jay King does always go the extra mile for you. And to know that they're all handcrafted, he has sourced these gems from all over the world. You are getting one of a kind mind finds. And I love our next little combination. This is the Chrysoprase Sterling Silver Jewelry Collection. We've got earrings. We have a ring. This is a fascinating stone. It's one stone with two different colors. You're going to see the beautiful rondelles and the beads and the earrings you're going to see this beautiful shield like design in the ring it's almost like a half moon shape with a beautiful bezel finish the earrings are on sale today for 39.90 the ring is on sale for 79.90 uh, where should we begin with this color combination okay you know this is only the, got a few minutes we've only got a few of these yeah. okay and this is the last of the last for you um we you know we had a necklace and i had a cuff that went with this and we've sold out on both of those those. So if you were uh, lucky enough to get those, then you might want to consider these because this was the, the other two portions of the suite. We just have a very few left on both of them. Now, what makes this so different and unique, this is what they call Boulder Chrysoprase. Boulder Chrysoprase is, this comes out of the Belmont deposit in Australia. 